I don't know. It's six, nearly three months after a carjacking led to a crash that killed an innocent bystander. An attorney is arguing that murder charges against one of the accused carjackers should be dropped. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us live from that attorney's office in Fort Lauderdale. And Anna, the attorney insists that the woman who died in the crash could have survived if first responders would have reacted differently. That is exactly right, Lauren and Elliot. I spoke to Jim Lewis this afternoon. He is the attorney for 16-year-old Justin Edmond. That is the teenager who was allegedly driving the car that crashed into 68-year-old Patricia Schmeltz. Tragically, Schmeltz lost her life due to the impact of that crash. But Lewis, he says that his attorney should not be charged with vehicular homicide because he says that police officers and first responders did not act fast enough because they, he says that they believe that Schmeltz was dead inside of the car when they arrived, when she actually was not. She was still alive minutes after that crash. Now, I want to bring you to some new police body camera video that we have obtained. It shows the moments that police were chasing these teens. Uh, and this involves Hollandale Beach Police as well as BSO officers. They were chasing this car full of teens back on May 10th, and this crash happened in Pompano Beach. Now, as police were working to take these teens into custody, an officer runs over to Schmeltz's car, sees her slumped over, and calls out that she is a Code 7, meaning that he believed that she was deceased. Now, police take the suspects into custody, and then they go back over to Schmeltz's car, pulling her out, and they see that she is still alive. In the video, she tries to communicate with the police, and they tried their best to help her, but tragically, she eventually dies. And Jim Lewis, who is representing the alleged driver, 16-year-old Justin Edmond, says his client's vehicular homicide charge should be dropped because he believes police did not call paramedics quickly enough because they thought that she was dead inside of her car. The Hollandale officer has obviously said something to the effect of, I really, you know, thought she was dead. Oh, my God, she's still alive. She's, like, talking. That one of the BSO officers uh, basically said the camera rolling, which meant the other off, you know, don't talk about this. And the question is, had paramedics gotten there originally, if they'd been called right away, would she have survived? And that's the, you know, that's the million dollar question that we really can't say. And there was a court hearing for Edmund today, the judge denying him bond, saying that he will stay in the jail. He is charged as an adult, as I mentioned. He also has several co-defendants, including a now 15-year-old girl who was 14 at the time of this incident, three 17-year-old boys, and a 20-year-old man. But for now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.